It took six years for federal police to make the arrest and answer the one question many Brazilians have been asking. Who killed Marielle Franco? The councilwoman and her driver were shot dead in March 2018 in the streets of Rio de Janeiro. This work ends, at least now until new elements emerge. At this moment, we are very clear about the perpetrators of this heinous crime, a crime of a political nature. Congressman Chiquinho Brazão and his brother, state auditor Domingos Brazão, were arrested, accused of having ordered the hit. The brothers allegedly have political ties with the militia, gangs made up mostly of former policemen who control many poor neighborhoods in Rio de Janeiro and charge their residents for protection. A third suspect was also taken into custody. Rio de Janeiro's former police chief, Rivaldo Barbosa, is being accused of obstructing the investigations. Rivaldo Barbosa received the family the day after the murder, saying that it would be the police's priority to solve the case. And we learned today that the man who hugged us, paid his respects and smiled, is involved in this crime. Marielle's sister, who is also Minister of Racial Equality, said that putting the culprits behind bars will strengthen Brazil's democracy. We can finally give answers to all those people who voted for her, who believed in her ideas and who felt represented by her. Lawyers for the three suspects say they're innocent and deny that they were involved in the murder. Marielle Franco was a champion for minorities and stood up against political corruption and violence in Rio's favelas or slums. She was human. She would always be present among us. I am happy the truth was uncovered. People here in Rio de Janeiro say they hope solving Marielle's murder is a step towards addressing one of Rio de Janeiro's main problems. 60% of Rio's metropolitan area is controlled by drug lords or by the paramilitary militia that Marielle fought against. Monica Yanaka, Al Jazeera, Rio de Janeiro. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.